Hey, my friends, it's your friend, Kevin. Welcome, 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 welcome. This is your divine inspiration message of the day. Okay, so here we go. Um, we are using the um, Happier Me affirmation cards. And the affirmation for today is, I choose to let go of fear. Fear keeps you stuck in one place. Take one fear that you have and notice the power it has over you. Then see it for what it is. Just a thought. You know, Louise Hay taught me in the 80s when she came and did a talk to introduce her book, You Can Heal Your Life. I was living in Florida, going through a really difficult time. And she basically said, thoughts are like clouds. They move through the clouds, move through the sky, thoughts move through the body. If you're not careful, they build up. And when they build up, storm clouds build up. And when storm clouds build up, rain comes. And depending on what your thought is, you have the choice to make it more than what it is or let it go. And fear is the thought that something might happen that you don't like or that you are fearful of or that it's a catastrophe. So watch your thinking. Incidentally, this is a number one angel numerolog numerology day, which is about magical beginnings and the deeper meaning of it. Get in touch with the spark of your creation and manifest all your ideas. That's the most poignant way to bust a fear thought. Joyful wishes that you know you want to come true, then the underthought is, will it, should it, I don't know about that. That is the fear that comes up. Because any time you've ever thought about something in the past and it hasn't happened, you've been left disappointed. Go far beyond your financial thoughts. Go far beyond all of that. Go into something really big. Our Master of the Week that comes from Kyle Gray's uh, The Divine Master's Oracle Deck, images by Jennifer Hawkyard, is Vajra Yogini. The Vajra Yogini is the master that straddles Buddhism, Hinduism. She's basically the one that comes to have us face fears, have us face what it is we need to move past. I've been doing that a lot this year. And there comes a point within all of us where the thinking, the stinking thinking, gets to be really old. And those that love us and care about us want us to shift past it. Um, I know there's a part of all of us that has a wolf. It depends on which one we're feeding the ego wolf or the liberation wolf, which one's feeding? <coughs> Excuse me. My isms today is I'm a spiritual heart warrior. Love, that will be a fear buster. Good things are constantly flowing to me and I am all the strengths I need to get past all the fears I have. Done. Boom, chakalaka, boom, chakalaka, boom, chakalaka, go. Ger Gertrude, and there's our card. Gertrude and Beatrice, I'm going to keep shuffling in case there's another one that pops out. I have a feeling there might be. Um, says, when I looked at them this morning, they were in what looked like a workshop. I couldn't really see too much around the workshop. I got a sense that they were in a workshop, like a wood shop, like a, a room, like somewhere that they were creative. And down at one end of this room, big long bench in the middle, there was a round window. And the round window was set into four quadrants. And the four quadrants had some kind of image in them. I see the four quadrants, but the images change. Um, it's a bit like that, that, that picture's been a portal. But what I saw, um, when I see them sitting across from this big long bench, which is working, I'm seeing um, Beatrice writing and journaling and copying and getting her ideas on paper and her plans. And I see Gertrude goes from painting to sewing to physically working with her hands. Um, 
the message they're giving us is we have within us the ability to plan and create what it is we want to manifest and then comes the tools to make them happen uh we've also got to invoke the power of spirit they're not going to give me another card okay they gave you one <laughs> Oh, oh, Gertrude, you make me laugh. Gertrude said, I've already given you one. That should be enough and you haven't turned it over. Okay, well, there we go. The Direction Guardian. Oh, look at this fabulous card. Now they're peering over the top as if they're looking down on all of this, which they are. Um, Look at this. So I would say that the... The Direction Guardian, which is this fellow over here, um, is got the ability to tell us we could be the lion, we could be the lamb. I think that's a lamb. It looks like a lamb or a bull. We could be the eagle or the dove. It depends on what pathway we want to choose. But then there's all kinds of other symbolism. There is the sun up at the top. And then there are this, this triangle, which I don't know what that symbol means, but it doesn't matter. That way and that way, up or down. Uh, then the compass in the middle with look, the third eye right here. Um, there's so much going on in this card. Um, which is really a mirror to life. So much going on. I'm being told by them, get laser, 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 laser focused. Laser focused, committing to what it is you want to do, what it is you want to see and become fearless about it. Be the lion, be the bull. Have a peaceful heart, but also be the eagle to see what's coming up, what's ahead. Your guardian angel, the direction guardian, is not going to steer you in the wrong direction. This is where what they've been saying all year long about the feeling that you have in your heart, the guides, the, the like I get goosebumps, like the hairs on my whole body will stand up when I feel there is a presence. Um, the other newer feeling I've got lately is the heat, sweating. I, I think I've shared with you, these are so, somewhat new uh, for me. It's it, I, I thought at first, well, this must be some kind of male menopause because I'm getting hot flashes. But now I sat and meditate, those hot flashes is the heat. And then, you know, a message will come along YouTube or somewhere else from um, Diane. Oh, gosh, her last name escapes me. Um, uh, her name is Diane. She works with angels. And one of you is going to know who she is. She had a video out there. She's written some fabulous books. Um, and uh, she talked about how we're moving from the three-dimensional energy and vibration, which is really non-existent at this point, up into the fifth dimension and um, it's quite delightful to feel that lightness that joy that peace and the inner knowing that when you think about it on Monday by Wednesday there's a plan and action to make it happen so the message here with all these three good things are constantly flowing good things you are in the flow of goodness you are in the flow of love you're in the flow of of all of that abundance, and you're all the strength you need. But at the same time, remember, if you think about a highway, one traffic, one load of traffic is going in one direction. The other load of traffic is going in the other direction. What direction are you going in? Esther Hicks, who channels Abraham, talks about being in the flow, being in that dramatic flow of energy, downstream flow. Pushing up against the current is going to bring you all of this fear, stirring it all up. And remember, my friends, we've got the ego that's all part of fear. And that ego wants to win no matter what. That's a wolf. 
inside of all of us. I've got a, um, I'm working on my, my um, preview for the next happy hour at the Woo Woo Lounge, which comes up on, um, it's not this coming Friday, it's not, it's next Friday, um, but I'll post a preview video on it and I will um, talk about what the premise is, but it is about growth and it is about how growth can seem challenging, but there is a key element to growth that most people don't get wrong exactly, but they kind of have an issue with. And I'm going to explain that issue, and I'm going to give some tools to how you go past those issues. But listen, let's get to the let's get to the message and the energy of today before time runs out. I love, 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 love this card. Incidentally, if you like this deck and you want to purchase it, you can do it on Amazon or go to carlgray.co.uk uh, and buy them. Here's what I like about this: he has right now a brand new course coming up. I'm not going to take it, um, but. I would, because this was one of the first decks I got when I when I was being locked down, and it inter it intimidated the tar out of me. It was an oracle deck that went in all these different directions. Angels, ancestors, and all these images on the front cover was quite like oh gosh, and at first I didn't know what the world direction to go in. But now I love it. Now I love all the the messages and the nuances that go with it. Um, but. Let me get to the, the quick message. I feel like I'm going all over the place. I'm sorry. Let me land it. Connect with your deeper desires and then choose the path that you want to take. Choose the path of your heart. Choose the path of your soul. Lift yourself up with music. Um, so that so this, this guardian represents all your angels of direction and what they bring what this angel brings are the gifts the gifts that show us where the crossroads are the gifts that show us what direction to go in then use your guardian angel to give you some kind of idea you could just literally say that guardians of the four corners great mother of the earth wonderful father of the sky angels and ancestors and guides I call upon you now, show me the right direction in which to go in. Show me the bigger picture. They help you. The direction guardian helps you know what's best for you to bring you actually what your heart desires. Fear keeps you stuck in one place. Remember that. Take one fear that you have and notice the power it has over you. Oof. And then see through it. See past it. It's just a thought. It's an emotion that's working down through the body. So your path isn't actually pushed into stone. There's an idea that when we come to earth, we've got this purpose. We have this drive. We have this, what am I supposed to be, do when I'm here, right? Um, well, the angel guides, your spirit guides, they don't necessarily have any expectation. You shouldn't necessarily have any for yourself. There are many directions you can take in this world. None of them are wrong. They all hold that perfection. They all hold opportunities to grow and learn. We're supposed to enjoy our life. We're meant to savor it. So, my friends, uh, let me go back over here. If you know that there's a direction you want to go in, and I, I, yeah, I got it. Beatrice is reminding me that there's linear patterns. Mm, mm give me something the linear patterns that we have like for example uh, many of us are interested in the akashic records many of us are interested in past lives and we should be the linear pattern pattern goes with your ancestry goes with your roots your dna this parent this parent creates you two parents created them and on and on and on it goes up right they come with this 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 ancestral baggage luggage laundry i call it when they want to do something and they couldn't get to do it because society and culture of our past lives and you could just look at this one we we'll just look at the century that we just went through from the 1900s to 1999 whoosh bang wallop we went through this entire technological change engineering change 
building change, growth change. It went woof like this. Two major wars, a great humongous depression. Well, actually, there were more than two wars. If you count Vietnam, and then you, you know, the war on terror, the war on drugs, the war, the war, the war, the war, the war, all of that was all part of that last century and then continued into this world. But now we enter this new kind of funky little energy, right? The new, ooh, the new age. We've been talking about that since the 60s. Well, some of you weren't even on the planet, but those of us that came up out of that, now is when we wake up to it. Oh, hang on a minute. There's a different feeling in the air. There's a different vibe. There's a different thing happening. You know, I've talked about technology. When I was a little boy, I had to go into a little red box, put money in a machine, pick up the receiver and dial. And when the little noise went beep, 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 you had to bang more money into it. We didn't have one at the phone at our house. I think my brother, my mother was having my brother in like the early 70s before we got one. And that's fine. It was all good. And my grandma got one. And then, you know, slowly but surely in the 70s and up to the early 80s, people got phones, at least out in the rural areas. But you know, someone had to set the pole, someone had to set the line. All this stuff had to happen. But look what did happen. And now we have phones that are about the size of a tarot card or oracle card. And they're reminding me, these two, now we communicate through satellites. Boom, no wires, just a signal. Got to charge them up. Got to keep the juice in them. But again, it comes from some kind of a tower. I, I don't want to get into that too much. What I want to get into is time is moving quicker. Desires are coming up. Big, 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 big desires. If something's not working for you, like there was something this year that was not working for me, you have to physically do something about it, right? You have to commit to it. You've got to commit to move past it, commit to grow on past it. But the challenge we have is that fear, it's comfort, it's safety, it's, you know what, I don't know about that. Because we don't know what's going to happen. Yet, every single day, the ratchet news cycle gives you another something, another something, another big humongous surprise. And they're happening like this. Boom, 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 boom. Why not get in front of that? Why not do as Beatrice is doing and write down your bullet points? You can choose five. When the bullet points go past five, when the, when the things you desire goes past five, you are getting in the weeds of fear. And really, when I've done this exercise before many, many, many times, and the teachers will say, pare it down, pare it down, pare it down, pare it down, and get to three. At some point, that the fifth one to the tenth one is a repetition. They almost feel the same. And I'm going, I'm going in the weeds. Gertrude is saying, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about fear over growth. Procrastination over action. If you decide, listen, I'm on the right groove, I'm going where I need to go, great. That's perfect. Then bring in more elements of that and move on. Because that's telling you you're on the right pathway and this is good. If you're going down this road that's like, oh, for goodness sake, here we go again. I've had enough of this. That's not necessarily your highest good. That's saying that plan has to be changed. If it's getting on your nerves, it's not bringing you joy, happiness, prosperity, harmony and love. There's something up with the plan. You could be in the right direction. You could also be, mm, I'm in the right direction. I feel like it's good, but I'm still not quite there. Well, what is stopping you? That's where you make these adjustments. And that might be listen to music, go out dancing, get into nature, find joy. That, that will normally tune me into the right way, is that, that joy. I now know the difference between my, my heart and my soul and my mind and my spirit are like bleh, bleh. a piece of music uh, and, and a beat will lift it up. Yesterday I was reading, uh, I was, I got a probably the most delightful, powerful reading I've had. And I get lots of them, but this was so, so special. There were tears welling up. There was emotion here. It was just love. Um, 
and you know who you are that gave it to me. Thank you. Then I got, well, I've been listening to this Samoan music. It's called Samoan hip hop. I don't even know what these people are singing about. At first, I couldn't decide, is this Spanish? Is this Hawaiian? What is this? <laughs> but whatever this tune was, in whatever language this was, which has to be Samoan, I didn't know what they were speaking about or singing about. I was singing along and just picking up this whole new language. The whole point of it, I felt happy, I felt harmony, and I felt joy listening to it. I should have prompted it up here and played a little bit for you, but I will make sure I do that tomorrow. Now they're telling me to wrap it up. We've gone 20 minutes, longer than we have in a long time. Listen, my friends, I love you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. Let's get these subscriptions up there, and I will see you tomorrow. Big love. Bye for now. Hey everybody, we hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with all your friends. Uh, here's a QR code if you decide you'd like to get a private personal reading with me. I'm available most evenings and on the weekends. Just go over to the website, book in what session, 30 minutes, 60 minutes uh, and then fill in the contact information and I'll be back in touch. And if you feel kind enough, here is a link to my donation button. Energy exchange of any amount is always gratefully received. Until next time, be well, be blessed, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.